Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel Middleware Technologies. Uh, today uh, we'll be looking at uh, Podman API as a service. Okay. So uh, in our previous videos we have seen uh, like how to utilize Podman, like we have installed the Podman on our uh, local machine and uh, we try to create uh, some uh, containers and try to pull some images and uh, we were able to manage it uh, locally on a standalone machine using the Podman uh, client installed. Okay, but uh, there is always a need for uh, like managing our containers remotely. Okay, so that is where the Podman API service uh, uh, comes into the picture. It helps in managing our uh, uh, standalone uh, Linux container system uh, remotely. Okay, so in this video, we will try to see how we can utilize the Podman API services. So I'll be referring uh, to this document which I have already prepared uh, to show you how we can uh, start the Podman as a service and try to fetch some data uh, regard, uh, related to our images and containers on the standalone machine uh, on which this service is running. Okay, uh, but before that, uh, let me try to explain you uh, what is an API service, okay, you know, on a high level. So, every uh, service or a software that we develop, uh, every organization tries to uh, provide an API, uh, like uh, application programming interface. So, that is an interface to that service, okay. So, that interface will actually accept some parameters, parameters and those are passed on to the, the backend service. Okay, so based on the parameters uh, that are passed and the action that is passed uh, in the interface, uh, the respective service call happens and it will try to fetch the data from the remote server. Okay, so similarly the Podman API service is built. So I'll show you what uh, uh, API calls we can do uh, with Podman API. So if you go into basically the Podman uh, uh, website or Podman homepage and go into the references and click on the API documentation. It will, it will show you uh, what all API services uh, we can call remotely. Okay, so these are the API services which, which we can call on image, container, images, pods, okay, volume, volumes. So everything we can uh, which we can do uh, using uh, the CLI tool. Uh, we can do it using the remote client and uh, remote API and one more benefit, benefit of uh, remote API uh, is uh, we can use these um, API URLs uh, from within our Python code or uh, bash code and try to uh, build our application. Okay, so that is where uh, the API services helps. So let me go into my documentation and show you how we can uh, go with uh, in, uh, using the API services. Okay. So I am uh, right now on Fedora 32 machine with Podman already installed on my machine. Okay. So uh, we have already uh, looked into uh, basics of API. Uh, let us go into uh, the procedure uh, like uh, how we can utilize the API. Okay. So in order to uh, use the API, first we need to start the API services. Okay. So API service can be started on, to, uh, on a DCP channel like as uh, I have shown here or on a system socket. Okay. So let's try to start a TCP channel on a particular port. So let me let me see if I have anything running. Okay, so I have been running, so let me kill that one. So now uh, let us try to start the same service uh, like Podman system service. So we need to provide the channel, uh, TCP channel on localhost at port 8080. We want to start the service and minus time is equal to zero basically means the service will be up and running until unless you try to kill it okay or 
when the uh, system reboots it automatically gets stopped okay let me start the service so uh, the service is up and running right now so let me grab the process to make sure it is up yes uh, the service is up so now the hardware services started on our uh, standalone machine okay so uh, the next thing is uh, we need to see how we can utilize the service and uh, fetch some data from our standalone linux container system but before that uh, let's try to check uh, what i try to install so i have installed the jq uh, package basically it is called a java query uh, query language package uh, so this package will help you uh, uh, with the data uh, uh, which we fetch from the api urls so basically whatever data we are getting uh, from the podman api is in the form of the json format okay so in order to read uh, uh, or convert it into a readable format and to filter the data uh, the jq package will be really helpful so it's better to install this package if it is not already available on your system okay so let me try to install this one uh, i think it is already uh, like i have installed but i'll show you how we can install it okay so the package is already installed on my system so you can install it if it is not available on yours and uh, so once that is uh, done and uh, if we install the jq package uh, next we will try to go and uh, get uh, some information using the api urls uh, uh, with the service which is up and running okay so first and foremost uh, is the info we will try to check podman info so basically uh, if you have gone through my previous videos i have sh uh, shown you how to manage the system so in that uh, if you do podman info it will show all the information related to the podman uh, uh, which is running on our current system so basically it will show uh, what is the uh, what is it uh, what is the cpu uh, uh, what is the storage uh, driver we being used what is the oci runtime uh, that is used so all those information and what is the memory utilization by the podman like basically it contains uh, um, um, containers and images so the overall memory uh, that is being used so all those details are uh, uh, provided in this info uh, info uh, uh, output okay so it contains the registry output also so but this is uh, what we are doing on a standalone machine locally but uh, if we want to do it on a, uh, from a remotely a remote uh, how we do it okay we can access it uh, using this url so we have started our service on 8080 port on localhost so we can use this url with a version of the api libpod slash info So let me uh, take this URL and try to hit it in the browser and we'll see how uh, this will fetch the information from the Podman uh, system. Okay, so, so you can see uh, like uh, we have, uh, we are able to get the same information uh, which we got uh, uh, from the client CLI tool on local machine so we are able to get the same information using the url okay so this is how uh, we will be able to fetch the data uh, using the api urls or api services okay so let me show you some more examples so this is how we fetch the information uh, regarding our podman system so you can do the same thing uh, from mach uh, local machine also using the curl command and uh, piping the data into the jQueries for formatting. Okay. Uh, yeah. So let me go into the next step, uh, like listing all available containers and in the system and images. Okay. So basically, I want to show you how we can list all the images and containers which are available on our machine. Okay. So for that purpose, we need to do libpod containers, convert it into JSON. 
all is equal to true okay so basically all is equal to true it will show you all the containers whether it is running or in a, in a stopped state okay so let me try to hit this url so you can see so you can see uh, like i have uh, nginx uh, machine uh, like nginx uh, image uh, you can see nginx latest so there are a couple of images i have uh, on my machine uh, so it will show all of them the zip box is there so these are the list of images that are available uh, uh, basically container images uh, that are available on my uh, machine okay uh, but uh, they are currently in the uh, stopped state okay so this is this is how uh, we will be able to get the um, json uh, like json formatted data using the api url for uh, the list of containers uh, that are available okay so similarly uh, like uh, what what we do using the command line uh, like basically podman ps minus a okay so how we do this one uh, this data similarly it gets captured using the api url okay so similarly you can do the list images uh, using the following url so you can just go and try to capture it so main thing is uh, the what parameters what context should we are passing okay so look for images in json it will show the data in the json format for you okay so how <coughs> how we know basically uh, what uh, what needs to be passed as a context to, okay so that is where uh, this uh, reference uh, api documentation helps okay so in order to let's say uh, inspect or uh, list a volume so okay so you can see uh, what is the get request we can pass uh, it will show libpod volumes json okay so this is how we can pass the context root libpod volumes json <coughs> so uh, you can see uh, i have uh, already two volumes available so it will get it show two volumes uh, and the uh, api output so podman volumes okay, podman volume help let me do okay so podman volume ls it will show the two volumes stack wall and static so same thing uh, you are able to see stack volume and static okay. so this is how you try to fetch the data so there are two type of urls uh, that you can trigger using the api so one is get url okay so, uh, which will just fetch the data and the other type of the url is uh, posting okay so post actually it will accept some parameters so as you can see to create an image it will accept some parameters uh, like uh, as mentioned here in the documentation so there are some parameters which are optional some parameters are required so based on that uh, you need to pass the parameters in the url so i'll show you one example wherein i uh, will try to pull the data uh, pull the image so this is the uh, post uh, uh, url uh, that will uh, try to uh, post something uh, to the api uh, basically we need to pass the reference okay a reference of the image name uh, uh, to the url to pull that okay so basically this is a post uh, type of 
command or uh, API call which we do so that we can pull the image. So this is how we can uh, pull the Nginx image and uh, then uh, uh, then we can uh, cre uh, cre uh, create the container out of it and start utilizing it and this is how uh, so I have started that container uh, using the uh, podman run command and uh, the next uh, curl URL which I am showing is uh, basically uh, get, fetching the uh, status of uh, stats of uh, the Linux container. Okay, so this is how uh, we can uh, use the API services to capture all the uh, information related to our Podman uh, system. Uh, so you can explore uh, more on this one, uh, like uh, basically follow this API. Uh, uh, reference and try to do some uh, uh, activities which you do uh, using the Podman CLA. Uh, you try to do it using uh, the API calls. Uh, so that will try to help uh, you manage the service or uh, Podman system uh, remotely. So this one you can further extend or uh, use these API services in your Python scripts or any other application and uh, try to uh, manage your uh, uh, Podman system. So that will help you uh, uh, very much. Uh, so this is how uh, we use the Podman service. Uh, so that I wanted to show you some basic information regarding this one. Uh, so you can explore on this. Okay, so thank you all uh, for watching this video and uh, I hope you learned something uh, in this and uh, yeah, I'll try to, uh, try to explore more on this one. Okay, thank you all. Uh, thanks for watching and have a good day.